Hello, my tinglings, and welcome to our very first playing of Polite Society, the Jane Austen board game. Just gonna get right into it. So for this video, we're just going to play this single player, so I haven't got indisposed tokens because I'm not going to indispose myself, so we're just going to go through and play. If you're interested in the rules and want to see that, check our last video that was on that. If you want to see my unboxing, that's a different video. So because we are starting I have this little softener so that we won't be too loud when I'm rolling the dice. Now, as I said last time, to start a game, you take the number of players, multiply by two, pull up that number of cards. So we have Mr. John Willoughby and Mr. Reginald de Courcy. And because I'm the only player, we're going to get both of these players So, I'm going to put De Corsi at number 8, and Willoughby, let's put at number 5. And then, it's just time to start. So, remember, first phase of the game, we need to make sure we have four characters up. So, now we are ready to go. So we'll roll, get an 8, I do get a wit, and beauty for Mr. Reginald de Courcy. And I thought it would be fun to read the quotes on these. A single man of large fortune, 4 or 5,000 a year. What a fine thing for our girl. And then beauty. It was a style of beauty of which elegance was the reigning character, and as such she must in honor by all her principles admire it. From Emma. So we've taken our assets, and then we take two action cards, and we choose one and discard the other. So we can either pick up two wit asset cards or two wealth asset cards. And if we are looking at do, 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 do. Well, there's not a lot of wit actually up here, so maybe we'll take the two wealth. We'll discard the wit and then I'll take the two wealth asset cards. Now I don't know that I'll read every single but let's read one more quote here. It is for your children's good that I wish to be richer. From Mansfield Park. And a large income is the best recipe for happiness I ever heard of. So now we have three wealth cards, one beauty card, and we can't purchase any of our characters yet. Oh. Actually, if I would have picked up the two wit, I could have gotten a Crawford. Oh no, 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 no. no. Completely wrong. I was looking at the reward. Make that mistake sometimes. Now we'll move to our next. We already have four characters, so we're fine there. Four, I get nothing, so we'll just go straight into our action cards. Indisposed, definitely get rid of that. And then pick up two wit. And let's see with two wit, one beauty, three wealth. No. Cannot get it done. We need more beauty. And anyway, heart and <laughs> other things. So now we have our four characters. We got five over here, so gonna get our wit from Willoughby. 
If I had ever learned, I should have been a great proficient pride and prejudice. It's Lady Catherine de Bourgh. So that's the end of that turn. Nine. We get nothing. So we'll take our two action cards. And table improvement. Pick up one wealth asset. So we'll probably take that rather than indisposed. A large income is the best recipe. Oh, we got another one. Maybe they don't all have to, but there are a number of different quotes. Um, yep. Four. We have no four. So we'll just go for our action. And, okay. uh, remove a guest. Won't do that. And two beauty asset cards. That sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Okay, so with three beauty, three wit, and two wealth, I think we can pluck up Mr. Henry Crawford. So three wit, three beauty, and two wealth. Purchase Mr. Henry Crawford. And his reward looks quite big, so I think we'll put him at six. So now we're left with one asset here. So now we begin our next turn, and this is where we need to make sure to replenish. There we go. Then we roll, and we get a seven. So at a seven, we need to get rid of all of our characters, our guests, they all get discarded. We get four new characters. Guests. I keep saying characters, but they are our guests, aren't they? And I do get my table improvement. So one wealth card. So we've got a couple wealth. We're getting close to Lady Catherine, but so we'll take our two action cards, add a guest or a table improvement, and I think we're going to add a guest. So roll the dice. Oh, this is going to be a little merry, actually. If the number correlates to an empty seat, add the top guest. So we would want a two, three, four, nine, ten. A seven. So that was never going to happen, so nothing happens there. So we'll just do our next turn. Eleven. No assets there. Just take our action cards. Table improvement. Should I have done the table improvement last time? Perhaps, but I am still tempted by so, I'm going to add a guest. Five. We have a five, so that won't happen. So, our next turn. Get a four, which is nothing. And action cards. We'll take another. cards, okay. And we'll take the two wealth asset cards. So now we've got four wealth. We had just straight up wealth. We could uh, buy, a care, buy a guest, but not one costs well. Seven. And I 
get two more wealth cards. We are flowing with wealth. Just need some heart and we could pick up a rush word. Trade three acid of any type. That would probably be helpful. So let's take that to table improvement. Because it looks like we're going to be flowing with wealth. So could that help us now? Yes, it can. So we could trade three wealth in for one heart. And then we'll purchase James Rushworth with three wealth. And we'll put him down at 11 or 12 because he has no reward, so not a huge benefit to us there. Oh. So first we need to make sure we're refreshed back up to forecast, and then we roll again. And a 7 means we refresh our guest list. And now we have Captain George Wickham, Miss Jane Bennett, Miss Hetty Bates, and Miss Maria Bertram. And we also get our two wealth cards. So, we can either do a wild asset card or a table improvement. Table improvement for some beauty would be quite good. Okay, two wealth. It's gonna not be want anything for us, so next turn. Ten. We have nobody at ten. And we haven't really rolled six and eight. Steal an asset, we'll do that. Pick up two hard assets, yes, we'll do that. So if we have two hearts, oh, we need one more heart to get Eddie at our table. Oh, do you want to read, see the hard quotes, because we haven't read those. She felt that she had a friend, and the kindness of her cousin Edmund gave her better spirits with everybody else. Nothing was omitted on his side of civility, compliment, or kindness that might assist the plan. Mansfield Park as well. Eight. Okay, here we go. Reginald de Courcy is giving us a wealth and beauty. So, no. Still doesn't do it for us. Can't buy any guests yet. We'll see what our actions give to us. Two beauty asset cards. Or two wit asset cards. So... Two wit would get us on the way to either one of those. So I think we'll go for the two For wit, we have, if I had ever learned, I should have been a great proficient. And I cannot speak well enough to be unintelligible. Or think her happy. Okay. Roll again. Six. Oh, look at Henry Crawford. One wealth. One beauty. actions at any turn, so I'm going to take my actions after I have purchased uh, whoever we're going to purchase here. Looks like it'll be two beauty, it'll be Miss Maria Bertram, because we can do two wealth, two beauty, two wit. Okay. So we'll do the two wit. Mr. 
Miss Maria Bertram from Mansfield Park. She gives us one wealth, which I don't think we need a lot of, so we'll put her at number five. And then we'll take our action cards. Remove a guess. We don't need to do that. And two heart assets. We can definitely use that. So two hearts. And we can also buy Miss Eddie Bates. Let's do that. Been a good turn, hasn't it? We'll put her. Um, go to her well, the discard pile because she matters more than who we're discarding, I guess. That's the end of that turn. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we just need two more guests. The game. So, beginning of next turn, we first need to add our guests up to four. Oh, so we could put Emma there. And, oh, need to roll. Six. Get our one well. One beauty and one wit. And does that give us no each of ours require at least two beauty of our current uh, characters? Guess I keep calling them characters. Um two action cards. Ooh, two beauty. We'll take two beauty. And does that gives us Wickham? Mr. Wickham. Okay, so two wit, three beauty. We'll put Wickham plate number nine because we want to get as much as we can. When we can. Oh, we need to replus. Finish our guess. Oh, we're only one heart away from Mr. Woodhouse. Ten. Oh, should have put him at ten. Um, so we get nothing at ten. And then we have two. Remove the guest. We won't do that. And we got two hearts. So we're going to get Mr. Woodhouse. So two hearts. And three wealth gives us Mr. Henry Woodhouse. So there we have our completed table. We've won the game. We have Miss Hetty Bates sitting next to Miss Maria Bertram with Mr. John Willoughby, Mr. Reginald de Courcy, Mr. James Rushworth, Mr. Henry Woodhouse, Captain George Wickham, and Mr. Henry Crawford. Many gentlemen. Sounds like a good time for Hetty and Maria Bertram to have a wonderful time at the ball. <laughs> Maybe they'll uh, stand up after dinner to have a nice little dance together. So thank you so much for joining me. I've had a lot of fun playing with you. Let me know if you 